Hey, crafty family, it's me, again! Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, this is a giant mess, but don't mind this kind of, like, background crap. Because I'm still working on my advent calendar and I didn't feel like cleaning everything up just to make a little video. Um, this video is just because, um, well, uh, while I was away, sick and whatnot, um, you guys sent me some really cool messages on Facebook and email and then my video yesterday, I was like crying because you guys were so sweet and saying all kinds of nice things that you guys missed me. I was so happy. I actually thought that everybody was going to be like, oh, whatever. I, I didn't think that you guys would miss me that much. It was so sweet. It was really, really nice to go on and read all the messages. It was just so nice. It made me feel so good. Thank you so much. And also, while I was laid up, um, I had gotten some happy mail that I never was able to actually film. You know, usually I open my happy mail on, you know, the computer. Or I mean, on the computer. Oh, boy. On the, on the video. And because I was sick, I didn't... So some of it I have still in the envelopes. Some of it I actually put away the other day without thinking. So I'll kind of like show you a few things after I show you this stuff. Um, this package came from Andrea Mercer. She had like some paper samples that she was giving away. So she sent me like some really cool... I'm just going to go quickly through it. Like some really cool like graphic-y stuff and things I can cut out and different little paper samples so she sent me these really cool stuff it was really sweet of her to send this and some of it's like it's like a vellum -y. um and then here's her card which I actually mean to put that in my wallet um and then she gave me some little post-its that says thanks for subscribing and just some really cool papers that are very interesting it was really sweet of her to share them with me I thought that was really nice Thank you so much, Andrea, for these papers. I love them. They're going to go in with my junk uh, journal stuff so that I can add them into junk journals because I think they'd be perfect for that. So I'm going to set that down. Okay, so then there's this little envelope came from Eloise Crawford, and she just sent me the cutest, like, she sent me this little, like, Zentangle to put in my little notebook thing, and she sent me these feathers which are absolutely gorgeous which is so cool and I never actually got to properly thank her for them because this letter actually got buried um, I actually just opened it the other day and it was from November 2nd so it's like 15 days old so I, and I haven't even actually wrote her anything because I found it today as I was cleaning up and I'm like oh my god so I'm doing the video and then I'm going to go online and find her and thank her for this if I haven't already which I don't think I have because I think around that time I was still really sick. And I, I know I didn't open it until just now. So it doesn't matter. I, you know, because sometimes I'll get the envelope and I'll say, hey, I got your envelope. I didn't open it yet. Yada, yada, yada. I don't even think I did that. Um, because this was, I believe, this the first time I saw this was just the other day. Because it was stuck in a pile of crap. And then today was the first time I opened it. Not realizing it was any kind of Happy Meal. Anywho, moving on. And then... My friend Elizabeth Hewitt sent me a package, and I'm not sure if this is all the stuff that was in the package because I might have put some stuff away, um, but I don't remember because I know I got this a little while ago, but I was sick, and I it's like confusing how th things got confusing, and I lost track of a lot of things. So, But she sent me Halloween. Oh, so adorable. So adorable. She sent me Halloween stuff. And it's just the most adorable, like, look, Happy Halloween. It's like a sticker. And then there's this, like, witch sticker. Isn't this cute? Look at her little wiggly eyes. That's, like, the cutest thing. And then there's this bat. Isn't that cute? He's, like, a glittery, sequiny bat. And here's another trick-or-treat. It's a little folded, but I don't care. I'll still use it. It just looks tattered. And some tickets. Yes. Love tickets. Look at this. Isn't this cool? Hope you guys can see it. I, I forget that it, I, I haven't done a video in so long, so I forget that I need to make sure I'm on camera. Um, look at this. I wish it was real, right? $125? <laughs> hey, that would be enough to pay my phone bill. <laughs> I should walk into AT&T and just like pull this out of my wallet and be like, yeah, I'd like to pay my phone bill. That would be hilarious. <laughs> They'd look at me like I was seven shades of crazy. Um, so I'll put that back in the cute little bag that it came in and put that 
in there as well. Shoot. Why do I decide to do this on camera? Does anybody know why I do that? She also sent me this pocket letter. This envelope got repackaged because apparently the post office screwed it up. So it was in a different envelope. So I hope that nothing was missing out of here. I don't know. It was in one of those We Care envelopes. I actually never got to look through this because of... Oh, yes, I did. I looked at this part of it. Because look at it. It's a um, like a hologrammy thing. Isn't that awesome? And I think I told her about it. And she had said it was one of those things that you get at like the store. It was like a decoration. And she cut it up. Isn't that badass? That is like the most badass pocket letter I could ever have gotten. It's a hologram. I don't know if you can see it. But the lady turns from like a halfway decent looking lady to an evil mummy whatever she is uh zombie that's what i'm looking for and look at that cute sticker isn't that cute and i love the eyeball washi oh where'd you get that but i never looked in any of the pockets and look at that there's washi oh she gave me eyeball washi woohoo score that's so cute oh and look at that one i love that and let's see and then there's these cute little like they look like Brad's, I think. Aren't they adorable? Look at them. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. Such cute things. And then there's her letter. I'll read that later. <gasps> Stickers. I'm not going to take out both of them, but oh my god, they have like little movie, moving ghosts. They're like wiggly eyes, but would. Oh, that is so freaking cool. And there's a witch one, too. Oh, so cute. Look at this. How cute is that? You know what? I might put that on my phone, actually. I really like that. <gasps> oh, another one of the wiggly ones. Oh, I love these so much. They're exciting me. They're very exciting. It's got a bat that wiggles around. I just love them. Where'd you get them? And then there's also these orange clips, which are adorable. See, this is why I'm mad, because I would have loved to have gotten this and felt like doing something, because I would have taken the orange clips, I would have made little um, embellishments with them and, like, done fun things, but no, I was sick. I had to miss completely. It's like, it, it's like okay, you know how most people, Christmas is their favorite hol holiday? Imagine, ooh, these are magnets. Ooh, squirrel. Um, these are magnets and they're going to go right on my rascog, whatever, however you call it, cart, because it's metal. This is awesome. Everybody knows I love skulls and I love pink. So awesome. These are going right now. Click, click right on my cart. Anywho, Christmas is usually everybody's favorite holiday. Imagine like the entire month of December all the way into J January, you are just bedridden, which I'm sure there are people out there, obviously, that have been. I mean... For me, that was what it was like for Halloween. And Christmas is my second favorite holiday. So I will be happy to feel better for Christmas at least. So I can't really bitch too much because it could have been worse. Um, oh, look at these stickers. There's some puffy like little Frankensteins. And then look at those little, little like, oh, they're so cute. They're like little skull, crystal skull things. <gasps> oh, maybe those have to go on my phone. Oh, how cute they are. I might put those on my cart actually. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much for this pocket letter. Like, seriously. Elizabeth, it's gorgeous. And I love it. And I can't wait to put it in my binder. My favorite part, though, is the fact that the front of it is a hologram. Like, hello. And then she um, also... I love this little purple bag. Cute. I'll put all that in there. She also sent me some what looks like jelly print papers that she did look at this this is just so cool it's like a tree and there's so much awesome texture in this i just love it and i actually want to make something with that because i just love that it's so pretty she did a really good job and then she did another one i love this too that's like something i would have done with the colors that's like the same colors i like that's so cool though i like how she did that that must have been like some sort of stencil, handmade stencil maybe that you laid down. That's so cool. I love when people share jelly prints with me because everybody else's jelly prints are always so much more vibrant and pretty than mine. Look at that. That's a great Halloween background. I'll save that for next year and do some like Halloween pocket letters with that. How cool would that be? Hold on. And then she sent me this envelope which I'm not sure because, like I said, it was repackaged. 
by the post office. I'm not sure if this is part of the original envelope or she was just sending me this. Regardless, I love it. It's going into my junk journal um, piece so that I can cut it and make like a pocket with it or make something cute with it and use it in a junk journal. I'm just going to pull this little piece off because it's driving me nuts. But yes, this is really cute. I love like the whole paint splattered excess paint shoved onto things. I love it. It's so colorful. It's pretty. It's organic. It's nice. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so then um, I got, let me see. Let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, so somebody else, my friend Jeannie sent me um, like a box of cool stuff. Unfortunately, before I filmed or took pictures like a dummy, I started just putting things away because I kind of, when I first started feeling better, I kind of had a fit when I walked in here because it was such a mess that I finally was like, Rah! and I just started taking things and putting it away, not thinking clearly to that it was some of it was happy mail and needed to actually have photographs taken of it i didn't think i wasn't thinking for some reason in my head i thought maybe i already did that i don't know so Jeannie sent me this really cute thing of happy mail and i just love this little ladybug she made out of spoons these are plastic spoons that she melted together or glued together and made into a ladybug and that is going up on my shelf because it is just the most adorable thing i've ever seen it is so cute i just love that and then she sent me like some ephemera um like look at this stuff like a dress for one of my prima dolls school days that's such a cool one i love these party my family friends i hope you guys can see this this one says have a great day this is like on like a vellum stuff or a thin paper i can't tell maybe it's just copy paper i just can't tell it's like a little journal spot and then there's like a bunny look like just cute and look at this this i love i love that stamp it is gorgeous another dress with some more stuff look a prima doll oh so in love so nice and then she also sent this, which is really gorgeous. And it says, believe, what does it say? Believe? No. Hello. This one says hello. H-E-L-L-O. Isn't that gorgeous? Is I think that's self-sticky to put it on something. And then there, then there was the frame. You could even do it with a frame, maybe. Then there was this really pretty frame. It looks like it was watercolored. And then there was this one that says celebrate, not believe. I have to straighten this one out, which I think I can easily do. If I put my heat gun on it just a little bit, it'll probably go back uh, because it's like that vellum -y stuff. It might work. It doesn't matter. It'll still be fine if I glued it down. But these are just gorgeous. I absolutely love stuff like this because it's just unique and it's not something I see every day. I'll put that back in a second. Oh, and then there was these little chipboard, like she cut out little dress forms, which I love because I will definitely use these in pocket letters and decorate them. I actually like the way that one looks like vintagey. Well, all three of them do actually. I absolutely love, love, love stuff like that. So, and then I'm going to take the camera. I'm going to shut it off for a second, pick it up and bring it over to the other stuff that she gave me because I already put it up on my shelf. Like I said, some of it got put away already. So I want to be able to show it off if I can remember where I put everything. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to try not to wiggle and wobble all over the place too much. As you can see, that's Piglet. That's my other dog. Um, he's laying there and you'll hear him whine because that's all this damn dog does is whine. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, my craft room is a complete disaster because I have stuff all over the floor. I've got papers and stuff that needs to be put away. I've got Christmas, Halloween stuff that needs to be put away. Just stuff. Um, but anyway, here's my shelf that I usually put little things on, which is way over full. It's way crowded. But the intention was that my, I was supposed to sell my house um, and it was supposed to get done a lot sooner. But because I got sick, it's kind of obviously it's still being sold because I'm like ready to go at this point. But the problem is we've got some things to deal with. So it might not go up on the market until like February, which is fine. It gives me time to regroup and kind of get my energy back and get back into packing. But in the meantime, this shelf has become a catch all. And, but I love my things that people send me. And there's some things that I've made 
like I made this ATC card, you remember that, the bricks, and I made this little journal here, but I got like a tag here from people. I love displaying the stuff that people send me so much so that I know that when I have my next craft room and I have more wall space or whatever, I'm going to have like a hutch that's dedicated to like what people send me. Like my friend Maria sent me this. Um, it's a little mini album and I've got like stick pins from a swap and I made that. I made that. I think I did a video on that actually. And like this flower that somebody made me and like all this little stuff. I love, 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 love. Like somebody sent me this little doll and like, oh, just love it. So anyway, back to what Jeannie sent me. She sent me, well, first she sent me a card, which I'm about to knock stuff over. One of the things she sent me was a card. It's a skull card. It was in with all that stuff. I put it up on my shelf. It has some really nice things she said in there. So that was in there. I'm trying to remember everything that she sent me. And then there was this adorable little, like another, sorry if it's too close. Another little card type of thing. This one's so adorable. It's like a little envelope. That's right. It was like a little envelope. I can't remember if there was something in there. I don't remember. If there was... I might have taken it out um, or it might have fell out but anyway isn't that adorable it's like heavy like she put a lot of layers with glossy accents on that gorgeous absolutely stunning and then my favorite thing that she sent me was this paper this little thing which I, I don't know if I can open it and it's probably dark over here and I'm probably not showing you very well so let's walk I'm gonna put it down on my chair I'm gonna open it and hopefully it stays in focus absolutely gorgeous look at that bling how pretty that is but anyway stay in focus she made this adorable little pin holder for my pins or this has eye eye hooks eyelets eye things eye whatever they're called for jewelry making which I do also which I can't remember the name of those things but like I could put pins in there the eye hooks or whatever and it's just gorgeous. She made this and it's got poodles on it. I don't have poodle paper and I wish I could find poodle paper. Oh, I love it. I'll put that away in a second. We're going to go back over here. Don't mind that mess. Oh, God. That's my desk with all the mail that I've been trying to sift through um, since I've been sick. That's piled up. Um, you know, bills that can't pay. <laughs> all kinds of fun stuff. Um, let's see. There was... I'm trying to think because, see, I'm having a brain fart of what who sent me now and trying to remember because I thought there was something else that Jeannie sent me. Janine or Jeannie. I always get her name screwed up too. She knows it because I've mentioned it before. Um, ugh, can't remember. Um, and then a lady that I was in, in a swap with that I haven't been able to send her swap out because it's one of those overseas things. Um, sent me when she, she sent me her, I got her swap and she's been really sweet and I've kept in touch with her. She's very, very sweet, understanding. So, um, her, we did a pin swap and here's her pins that she sent me. There's that one. And then there's this adorable little charm. Um, and then of course I didn't get to send hers yet cause I got sick at that time. But then she sent me just a random happy mail when I was sick just to like get well and she made this frame isn't that gorgeous I want to put my dog's picture in the center of it isn't that gorgeous she just sent me that out of nowhere just to say get well and I mean this is somebody that I'm in a swap with and I'm trying not to knock everything over right now this is somebody I'm in a swap with and I could not hold up to my obligation at, at the time at right the second but she knows it's coming and then she also sent me a notebook let me find it it's really pretty. She recovered and altered this notebook. Isn't that the most gorgeous thing? Look at that. And then it's got like a pocket with tags. I absolutely love this notebook. So that's up on my shelf of lovelies, which right now you're looking at nothing because I'm trying to put things back. So yeah, like that's up there behind the dress for like everything's just piled. And of course you guys remember this. This video is on its way up tonight finally the finale but that's the finished product of the configuration box that I did finally the video is finally getting up it's been done for a long time it's just the video sat and sat and sat so anyway that's just it I mean this is just my disaster right now I mean that's my desk that's a disaster and that's my cart in the middle of the room where it always is um yeah so things are a bit of a disaster not normally this way 
Um, but yeah, I just got a mess everywhere. I kind of pulled a bunch of stuff out and so anyway, that's it. I just wanted to show you those things that were sent to me by you beautiful people who I just, you guys have been so nice to me to send me like happy mail. And every time I got happy mail when I was sick, even though sometimes I couldn't open it because I was just so sick, it was just like such a nice feeling to know that eventually I was like, well, as soon as I feel better, I'll be able to open it and look at it. And it was just really nice. It was really sweet of everybody to be so nice. Um, uh, next video I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to make some really cute pocket letter envelopes, which I'm going to show you a sample of really quick. These really adorable envelopes without having to use a punch board, with just using a scoreboard, and, you know, very easily done instead of, like, complicated. This is, I, I kind of got an easy way to do it. To make these that fit in pocket letters. Two different kinds. There's this kind of in a coin style kind. So I thought that would be a cute um, that would be a cute uh, video to do. A very easy video. So I might work on that tonight or tomorrow. So yeah, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I hope you guys do what you love and love what you do. And I will talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye.